So there's different stages to writing a piece of music and if it's a piece of music that involves text, which with a piece of choral music it will be, one of the first things you've got to think about is what is this text going to be. Now sometimes when people commission you they give you a text or they give you a text idea and a lot of the time that's great. Sometimes I find uh, I want to explore the music at the same time as the text. So I might find myself um, improvising and sketching text ideas. Um, so I'll write down little fragments of text just from my own thoughts. And then I've got two choices. I, I might search for a poem that reflects those ideas that I've written down, um, or indeed ask a writer to create something based on that, or indeed write my own words. And I, and I have um, written my own texts for quite a lot of my music. And I, li I like writing lyrics, so sometimes that's the right thing, um, but it's by no means the only way I like to work. One of the things about setting texts, if they come from an original poem, is you don't always want to set the whole text. So there can be a challenge there, what do you keep, what do you leave out, how honest is it to leave out parts of a poem that a writer has created. And the final ingredient to setting texts, I suppose, is making sure the music is telling the story of the text and not the other way around. I mean, it, it has to be that in a song, you know, and an anthem is a song, a carol is a song, the words are vital to the emotional impact of this piece.